going to get my new SEMA build from Pennsylvania. So we just left High Octane Coffee. That was in the last video. You guys can check it out. Sipping on some sweet tea right now. I am full blown, wow for sound, caffeinated up. Literally haven't slept in like 48 hours and we're still trucking right along. So we are headed to our final destination. The reason for the trip, we are headed to Iron City Garage in Pennsylvania. We are going to meet up with the owner and his wife. We're gonna explore um, Pittsburgh just a little bit. We're running behind schedule. If you've seen in the other videos, we had some fuel issues. We just ran behind all together. Um, so we're a little behind. We're not gonna have as much time as to explore as we'd like to, but we are gonna get an awesome vlog of his business, all of the vehicles that he has there. He's got some pretty, pretty sick, old, classic vehicles. So not just the one I buy, but the other's pretty cool too wish that we could just load the whole trailer full and take a bunch of them, you know what I'm saying? But, so we're gonna pick it up, you guys are gonna see what the next SEMA build is, and we're gonna check out the place, we're gonna check out Pittsburgh, so stay Holy hell. Hello. Hello. to take exit to A to merge on I-579 South toward Veterans Bridge. This, I was This came out of nowhere. Yeah, I was expecting this city to just literally jump out of like, the mountains. <laughs> That's, that was pretty crazy. Miles. Keep right toward I-376. God. I'm icy, by the way. Nice to meet you. Little, little frazzled, is you know, little tight, little tight. But hey, we made it, so yeah. No, didn't hit anything. Good. Didn't run out of fuel again. No, thankfully the fuel gauge is shot, but. So we're gonna check out the Jeep Willys. This is the one that's coming home. SEMA 2019. That's what we're doing, guys. I'm super impressed you can build this thing in time for SEMA. I could barely get my registration done for SEMA. <laughs> Don't speak so soon. No, it'll it'll get done. It'll have to get done. But that's why I'm like, if I have a chance to get it, I'm going to have to go get it. Because we need to start on it, like, as soon as I get home. That was really crazy with my shipper, what happened. That was like, yeah. you know, one truck sold. That's so sad for him, too. That breaks my heart. Was the other truck that was on the trailer okay? Yeah, my stuff was fine. It's just... He was I feel so bad for the guy that bought the one truck in the trailer. This is Misty Joe. I'm Misty. We've just thought, I'm like, oh my gosh, my nerves are so shot. But we made it though, so we're good. Once you get the hang of it, it's not bad. All everybody that brings a truck and trailer in this big says that. Yeah, and it's unnecessarily big, but. I got plenty of stuff. Yeah. I love that fire truck. Yeah, maybe I'll take a look at the other one. I mean, I feel like this one will do what it needed to need it for. Well, they're super popular. I've yes. seen them built in the Right. Every willies I get, as soon as it gets listed. That's what Dalt said. He's like, if you if you like one of these, you need to jump on it. And I need it. So all the girls are different right here. Mm -hmm. That one's missing the top bar. I might have it. Okay. I have to see if my dad will let me steal one. He's an antique dealer. He has a place to make right next to me. That's awesome. But he awesome. sells the cheap grills. So yeah. We have a pile of cheap grills, and I'll see if we have like a nasty one I can hey, steal. The there top we go. Bar. So. Let me think about that thing. The F5. That is. This is. Oh uh, yeah. This is It's 44 foot. The deck is 44 foot. Yeah. I'm not not too my horn. I think we're professional status I'm, now. I'm super impressed. I can't tell you how many like full on truck drivers have wiped out that fence post coming in here. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. That's how we ended up with it. I had much smaller gates. You see the oh panels that are welded to them? Yeah. Well, they kept hitting the gates, and I said, "All right, we're just opening them up to 20 something." Yeah. Don't blame me there. <laughs> yeah, I've never sold anything ever. These two are going to Russia. Wow. He said, can you get it to Georgia? I'm like, yeah, sure. What's the zip code? And he sent me a address. I'm like, whoa, that is not in Georgia. I know. So how is it getting there? It's going to Port Jersey, and they'll get put in containers, and then it'll go over the pond. Wow, that's wild. Yeah. That is wild. This 
Somebody put all kinds of money into that truck in Florida. It's missing the tailgate. Um, it's a 460 automatic. It's a camper special. It's a pretty neat truck. And then this one, pretty neat. I don't get a whole lot of these. This is a nine foot bed. People around Missouri would have that. Yeah, they love the nine foot beds. They look crazy slammed down on the ground. Oh. Really and this truck runs some rods. I could like literally drive that one up on the train. I mean, if I had all the money in the world, I'd build something like this. Uh, it's a true high boy. Real deal. <coughs> Big block, four speed, 390, runs and drives. I just put a ton of money in it, um, brakes, all the drive shafts and the high boys always need. There's three drive shafts, that's what makes it a high boy. Um, those are all brand new, balanced, transfer bushings, um, yeah, it's super cool truck. Wow. And then whatever this little thing is. Everybody in the area probably thinks it's going to be fun. Yeah, it's like, what is this? But I need it for some reason, you know? <laughs> I won't. It was black just for shipping because nobody used it for frame, but this is another one, Colorado, super clean, it's a 48. And so is it dry? No. It does not. No, it actually has a really rare motor in it. It has, I bought it not knowing if it ran or not, and I have like this old timer, it works for me, and it's like the Ford King. And he got it running, and it's a 312 Ford V8 out of a Thunderbird. So it actually has a pretty good value. Like whoever buys it's gonna be able to get like a thousand bucks out of the motor. I love you. So. so this isn't functional. This is just this a is shipping just axle. For, gotcha. Yeah, because okay. I the guy that bought those two that's going to like Russia, he was interested in it. And he's like, Well how do I get it into a container? And I had right. this little boat trailer, so I told my guy just cut it up and make it roll. Oh, okay, gotcha. Uh, I thought maybe this was some kind of deal. This with is it. just purely for logistics. It would look it pretty it. cool with a short wheelbase though. Yeah. Well, that guy built one. He's all over the internet. He rear engine mounted it, and it's just a wheelie really? king. He's all over Instagram with it. It, it just does wheelies. It's got like giant headers on it. The motor sits right That's here. It's rear wheel drive sick. with big slicks on it. And it's just, just a wheelie. That would be cool. A lot of I think that would be cool. Or we've talked about, like you were saying about the grills, but some piece, we've even talked about some kind of like semi front end, like fabricating something like that so it fits. Hey. Uh, yeah, I got a 51. That was just the color combo he wanted, but that was like a, they call it the Cadillac Deluxe. That was an original owner California car. I bought that from the guy that bought it in. Gage and Tool is still in business, and that was their 55 truck, and the guy that bought the truck gave me the door back. That's awesome. Yeah, I love all the signs. This is one you sent me pictures of, and I was like, that's I interesting. That, yeah. I've never seen anything like that. It was one that caught my eye that you sent me pictures yeah, of. Yeah, this one's really cool. That front seat folds completely flat and makes the whole thing a bed. This was like the drive-in movie car that everybody wanted. Oh, wow. That is cool. So buy it, so I'm just going to buy it now. Hey, there we go. That's awesome. Even got the dice in the mirror. Look at that. Exactly. Yeah, that's more in there. I just <laughs> Classic in there. touch. I always leave dice. If there's dice in it when I buy it, they're safe. <laughs> this is the top cheese you need. This would be so cool for the cycle all the time. Yes. Yeah, I'll call my dad and see if he has any. He knows which one I'm talking about. I'll mm -hmm. see, because I don't want to. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah.
this is probably the most expensive one down here. This is 2901 Smallman. Those are like 10,000 square feet apartments. There's only like eight units in that entire building. Oh my gosh. Breweries like yeah. Cinderlands. That's a new brewery. And they have the whiskey place, the um, is it King's Fly. Yeah, this I think, weirdly enough, Look at it. It's so oh, cute. Yeah. what happens when you put two country girls in the city. In a real nice hotel, a really intrigued. Oh Super God. nice. So pretty. I don't even want to mess up these beds, it's so pretty. Oh, but I'm about to. Yeah, I'm about to. We need some sleep. Today's the day. Well, technically, I don't know if it would be considered a day, but it's the day that the Jeep Willys is going home. All the way back to Missouri. All the way back to Missouri. And I... This looks cool. This looks like it's got armadillo lying on it. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. I'm gonna be ready to be back to Missouri. Literally same. Got the front row. So cool, huh? Do you think it's that? Go. I ain't going with you. Okay. You make me nervous. Kobe. Kobe. Gar. Gar. And me. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I can't even make Gar take all the credit for that one. Everything isn't always the best when it's a safety uh, 
issue, I guess. That's, like no one ever had. Self-taught. I'll teach you. I just want to assume you didn't know. So. Well, I will watch perfect. people do it. On there, except wait one minute. So all you want to do with this is make sure that you want to ratchet it. Or... You want to zip it to the binder itself. So or to the top of the strap. Up here is okay too, but I like going here, and then oh. I zip tie through this strap over the ratchet, so okay. then the ratchet can come open. So flip it on top okay. of the ratchet. And do this. Yeah. And zip tie all this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're around the chassis of the binder, so that's what you want. That's good. When you pull the zip tie, you can't yeah. come up. Okay. Because if you come up and it lets that pin go past, so then while that's I'm when it opens. going, if I need to tighten, I can just cut this and exactly. then crank it a little bit. Yep. Okay. And then the other thing you never do, you see a lot of people doing it, you never pull down on the body. Right. Because it bounces and they come undone. Right. Always and it could axles. break off the yeah. end. So many people pull down on the bodies. I'm like, what are you doing? We're loaded up. We're saying bye to Pete. Thank you, Pete. You're welcome. And uh, we're going to make this little sharp turn here. Pray for me. And then we're going to get out of this city. Pray for me. And uh, we'll catch back up with you guys if something interesting happens. You'll be fine. What's going on, Lace? Uh, so we pulled over here on the side of the road. I just jumped over Misty Joe to get out on this side. There's white smoke going on back here by the trailer. So what's the plan for that? This was at like the highest it would go with it. He told me to turn this completely off while we're on the highway and just drive a little slower and this should be big enough of a truck. Oh, I'm out of breath right now. Big enough of a truck to stop the trailer with this little bit of load on it. Um, and then hopefully that stops because what happened was the brake was completely smoking. It was like boiling out the white smoke and it smells burnt. Um, but nothing looks burnt under there, so hopefully that fixes it and nothing sticks and we're gonna be good to go. <laughs> so, parking at this mall over here, we're gonna take a little road trip to the Denny's. Does it look like I can get out this way is the only thing? Yeah. Well, you're too in, you're into it now. Well, Can't yeah, that's into it 100%. Um, yeah, we can almost, yeah, we're Gucci. So, we're parking at this mall here and we're gonna take a little uh on foot trip to the local Denny's here in Ohio. No we're going to Bob Evans. Oh yeah Bob Evans duh why, why would I did why would I insult Bob Evans like that? Where to go? Oh. What are you doing Lice? Brainstorming already. Already. It's like nice well I've been brainstorming so I it's all up here but it's nice to like see it in person and be like okay this is 
where we need to start. Oh. <laughs> yeah, please vlog it in case we get hit. More content. Yes. This is tragic. This is the worst thing that's happened on the trip. Did you see that sign? What do we do now? Tragic. Tragic. How sad are you right now, Lace? So sad. Sorry. So we're in Cracker Barrel, uh, Plan B. Went in Skinner shirts. I think we're in the right place. How's it going, Lace? Oh, just reading a text message I just got from Armadillo Winers, actually. That wasn't even like planned, and I was supposed to say that, but that's. Basically what I'm doing. Oh. And waiting on this amazing food. Took the way seat and off other people's plates. No big deal. Those are good. How's your food, Lace? Really good. Yours is good too, in case you're wondering. 